you're all getting pap smears. So what the heck do we do if a pap smear is abnormal? And what's like the whole spectrum of things that might happen to your cervix? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. So when you go for a pap smear, we touch your cervix with tools that do not biopsy, but basically just touch your cervix enough that some cells will end up on the end of the little instruments and then get swooshed in a solution and sent for evaluation. If there's an abnormality, then we often bring you back for something called a colposcopy, which is a sesame seed sized pinch sample of the area of what we think might be causing that abnormality. If it's really not normal on these results, then we move on to bigger cervical procedures. And that can be a leap or a cone or a cryotherapy. Um, cryotherapies, I don't do very much, but we basically we freeze the cervix until we burn back several layers with sheer cold and then remove the cells that way. Or there's something called a leap where we use an electrocautery tool to shave down parts of the cervix where we see the abnormalities. A cold knife cone procedure is where we use actually a scalpel and we try to carve out with a cold, meaning non-electrified scalpel, the abnormality. And often it looks like, like an ice cream cone when we're done, bleeds a little bit more, a little bit more invasive. And then obviously if something like cancer is found, then you end up with something like a hysterectomy or a radical hysterectomy if you're still a candidate. If it's super duper bad, they might say you're not a candidate and you can just do chemo and other treatments because the surgery is not gonna help, which is super sad.